Well, I've been called a character a lot this morning, but I've been called other things as well, so uh, we'll get by, okay. But uh, uh, good morning. And uh, uh, Rabbi, uh, thank you for your reading in Hebrew that brings a, a richness to our celebration, and, and I appreciate that. Uh, but uh, a lot like General Vasquez, Moses is the man. All eyes were on Moses. Moses was the guy in charge. And he was the guy in charge for an extended period of time, wasn't he? And I'll tell you what, Moses had to think, that, think of all the steps that he would have lost in those four years. This is actually an unfit fit, but I uh, get the, uh, the point. Uh, Moses was a reluctant leader. God had to work on him pretty hard to convince Moses uh, to accept the position. Uh, and uh, uh, I, I appreciate uh, reluctant leaders, folks who are not in it for the bling, but in it for the service. And General Vasquez, uh, General Myrick, uh, Colonel Ragland, Chief Eldridge, uh, you can simplify those characteristics. And uh, thank you for that. Uh, so, Moses, minding his own business, burdened a bunch of sheep, which was probably good OJT for what he was going to be doing here pretty soon. Uh, gets the call, gets the call of leadership, goes back into Egypt and does his thing. Uh, does his thing with a whole lot of help. Uh, does uh, ultimately kind of convinces Pharaoh what the Israelites had on out. And out they go, and uh, uh, what a group of characters that Moses got to work with. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. We wouldn't be anything like them, like those folks who would well. But uh, uh, Moses and his command team uh, exemplify some characteristics of leadership that I think that, uh, that we can see in, in our current command team. There are people of faith. What does that mean for us in civil air? Well, this command team. Uh, exemplified core values, modeled the core values for us, and walked uh, the talk. Uh, there were folks of great conviction. Uh, you knew where you wanted to take the organization, and you had this that direction. Uh, people of vision, likewise, you could see over the horizon and see where you wanted to, uh, wanted us to go. And great perseverance as well. Moses certainly was the person with great perseverance for that extended tour of leadership, and General Vasquez, same for you, with your extended uh, tour of leadership, uh, you've demonstrated great perseverance to stick with it uh, through thick and thin to help us to go uh, uh, and make the advancements that we have in this organization over the last several years. Um, God made it clear to Moses that there was going to be an end to this tour of leadership. There comes that one time where you have to, uh, to hand the baton to somebody else. Uh, the good news for, for you, sir, is you don't have to go up Mount Nebo and... <laughs> you can go fly your place. In fact, there's a mission that are waiting for you over here in, in support of Hurricane Harvey. Uh, but uh, uh, God made it clear to Moses that uh, he was going to take the Israelites up to Jordan, and that was going to be it. That was going to be the end of tour. Up the mountain he goes, God bless him, see the promised land, and, uh, and, and that was it. Uh, and then, it was all eyes were on Joshua. Now, Joshua had a lot of years of OJT. He had a, a lot of mentoring, a lot of uh, talk about following the boss around for 40 years. Um, but he had not, he was not top of him. But now he was. Uh, Joshua, you can accept as to say it here, but you can see that he was probably a little bit overcome by events, a little bit worried about this new position that uh, he was stepping into. I can identify with that to a degree. Uh, we, we've had an amazing command team over the last three years, and uh, the, uh, the thought of following that is a little bit intimidating. And so I'm sure that Joshua felt very intimidated, and God knew that. And 
as God does, uh, God tailor makes his experience to where each of us are individually. And he worked with uh, with Joshua and uh, and gave him uh, some uh, some mentoring and four messages, uh, four key aspects uh, that uh, that were important for Joshua to be able to get over the hump, assume, take charge, take that flag, uh, and uh, and become the leader, and to lead his organization. And these were the four points that uh, that, that God gave to, uh, to Joshua. Number one is to get ready. Number two, be strong and courageous. Number three, be careful to obey. And number four is do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. Why? Because for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Yeah. So those are real confidence builders. And I'd like us reflect on those four points for just a couple of minutes before we need that. to press elsewhere. Uh, get ready now. Joshua, like I said, 40 years of on the job training. Uh, maybe he was a slow learner like me. It took, took me until uh, this year to finally finish my education for crying out loud. Uh, but uh, for Joshua, 40 years of OJT with Moses. Uh, and so that's a lot of preparation. Uh, and also, uh, God focused him on the job at hand. So you have preparation coming into his current assignment. And it's clear to him what the job at hand was going to be for him. Crossing the Jordan and taking possession of the promised land. Uh, past experiences, past training equips us for tomorrow's challenges. And for us, uh, that, well, how can we do that? Uh, how do we build ourselves to be ready for the challenges of tomorrow? Um, big believer in self improvement. For us within Civil Air Patrol, uh, we're involved in the professional development, we're involved in the uh, technical training, uh, whether it's a specialty track, whether it's ops or emergency services or whatever, we prepare ourselves so that when the job comes, perhaps a hurricane party response, we're ready to go. Uh, we are ready to go based on past lessons equipping us for tomorrow's challenges. Uh, Number two, be strong and courageous. Easy to say, not so hard to do. Now, for me, for you, it's probably a piece of cake. Uh, but uh, for jo Joshua, uh, God was telling him that he could be confident because he was prepared. He really was prepared for the job. And Joshua knew the source of his strength, that God was, uh, was going to be with him and equipping him and helping to, to be successful. Now for us, same type of thing. We can be confident because we're prepared for the task at hand. We know the source of our strength as well. Number three, be careful to obey. Uh, for Joshua, uh, he was called to obey God's commands and be in the center line of God's will. Uh, for us, uh, for people of faith, it's the same type of thing, to broaden it out, uh, to all of us within civil air control, uh, adhere to our moral compass. Every one of us has got moral compass. Uh, the old grounds of uh, uh, society and some folks is moral compass seems to be spinning at a higher rate of speed. But for, uh, for us within civil air control, we have core values that, uh, that uh, codify what our moral compass is. We, as leaders within civil air control, uh, embrace those, model those, and lead the way uh, from a perspective of those uh, core values. Always doing the right thing. If we're careful to obey, in other words, always doing the right thing, always adhering to that moral compass that's codified by our core values, we are careful to obey, and it will help us to be successful. And number four, do not be terrified, do not be afraid. Again, sometimes it's easier to say and harder to do. I must admit that I've got a degree of trepidation because those are big shoes to, to fill. And for Joshua, he had a big set of sandals to, to fill following Moses. You know, who wants to follow that act? My goodness. Uh, for, uh, for Moses and Joshua and for me and, and uh, the 
team, coming command team, uh, to the excellence that uh, our current command team has, uh, has demonstrated over these last three years. It's again a bit intimidating. Uh, but God says, do not be terrified, do not be afraid. Uh, Joshua can be a confident leader because of the first three lessons that, uh, that we just talked about. Uh, and the same thing for us. We can be confident for the, uh, for the same reasons. So moving forward, Joshua was called to leadership. Uh, he, was, he was the person flying this past to after Moses. Uh, was it intimidating? Absolutely. There's no getting the way from that. You can't remove that from the <laughs> Of course it's intimidating. And it's a big gulp, if you will, to, uh, to be able to do that. But God helped Joseph to see the path to success. God provided the mentorship in those at that key time, in just the right areas, in just the right manner, for Joshua to be successful. And that can be the same for us. For me personally, uh, coming into this position and following the current command team, it's a bit intimidating. But there is a path to success. Uh, there is absolutely a path to success. I can go to school on uh, lessons that uh, God gave to Joshua. And the same for all of us. Uh, it's a time of transition. Uh, the chaplain sat gas from the chaplain views. Uh, for the chaplain for it's a time of transition. But for every one of us, uh, if, you know, the old saying, the only possible to walk in life is change, every one of us face change and transition all the time. And what is your anchor? What is your rock? How do you get through these turbulent times and times of transition that you face? We can go to school on, on what, uh, uh, what God taught Joshua uh, in these matters. So those four learning points. Get ready. Be strong and courageous. Be careful to obey. Do not be terrified. Do not be afraid. Um, I don't know who said this, uh, but uh, uh, a nice quote that I came across at one point in time is, success in God's world does not depend on great abilities, but rather upon a great God. We have a great God to rely on. Uh, so with that said, I want to pass my thanks uh, and my admiration to our current command team, General Vasquez, General Margaret, Colonel Wagner, and Chief Eldridge, for a job especially well done. Help me to thank you. And a final note, uh, this is Commander's Call to Prayer. Uh, on behalf of the incoming command team, I cover your prayers. Uh, uh, I really do. Uh, with your help and God's help, we're going to be successful and build upon the foundation that's been laid by the uh, current command team. Thank you for your time. Uh, it's been a blessing for me to be a part of this gathering with you. Uh, for the chaplain corps, thanks for everything you do. Uh, you are a tremendous resource, not only for civil air patrol, uh, but for community safety nations as well. Thank you very much.